On News Hour Direct, Arun Jaitley, leader of the opposition in the Rajya Sabha. Mr. Jaitley, yesterday there were reports that the Prime Minister met law officers who are supposed to, where he's supposed to have asked if any criminality can be attributed to him. Now, of course, Solicitor General says it's in jest. What is your comment to the Prime Minister's statement to his law officers, which has been reported? I'd like to paraphrase it a little differently. There are two categories of people who have to be investigated in this case, the coal block allocation. One is the beneficiaries, which are the businessmen who are the allottees. And the second is those who took this illegal decision, which means the coal ministry and the coal minister, those who were part of the screening committee. Now, the most objectionable part, now who called the meeting, who misled whom, is all secondary. What is the meat of the matter? The meat of the matter is, the CBI represents the investigation. The law officers represent special prosecutors or pros those who will prosecute these cases. Or at least they will assist at the investigation stage. The Prime Minister's office or the Prime Minister or the Coal Ministry officials may not be accused as yet, but they are certainly suspects in this case. They are possible targets of investigation. They are the ones who took the decision. So besides the law minister who's convened the meeting, the investigation, the prosecution and the suspects are present. And this is the first time I've heard at whose behest is irrelevant. The investigation and the prosecutor show their status report to the suspects. No, but is there in your view an attempt to distance the Prime Minister from all this. The Solicitor General says in that interview that the Prime Minister has many duties. A, he's not aware of what the Law Minister is doing. He cannot be expected to be looking at everything. He was never even aware of any of these meetings. So in your view, is this all a build up to the Prime Minister make, you know, distancing himself from the meetings and hence also from the Law Minister? Whether the Prime Minister is guilty of commission or omission, only an honest investigation will establish. Can this kind of a process where the CBI director says, yes, I agree to show this report to the suspects because I was under pressure. I think CBI has probably forfeited its right to investigate this case. It's a fit case which must go to an SIT. And if, if the Supreme Court follows the same standards with regard to SIT, it has been laying down for various state governments. This is a far worse case. Uh, Mr. Jaitley, on an attempt to end the culpability, Prime Minister distances himself from the Law Minister. Says, I was not aware of the meetings, I don't know what the Law Minister does. Law Minister distances himself from the Attorney General. Says, I didn't do it, the Attorney General made the changes, the Attorney General is calling the meetings. Do you think, by doing this, the line of culpability will also be chopped off? Well, it is immaterial whether he was aware or unaware. PMO officials were present. Coal ministry officials were present. The, tar the investigation might reach some of them. What business has the CBI, even at the law minister's behest, or what business has the law minister to tell the CBI, show the report to these people who may be possible suspects in this case? No, so, you, so you continue to put the pressure on the prime minister and you want the prime minister to engage on this issue on the floor of parliament? Obviously, all of them, all of them, whether it's the CBI or it's the law officers or it's the law minister or the prime minister, I see a huge amount of culpability in it. Something's really rotten in the state. Arun Jaitley, I thank you for joining me on News Direct. Thank you.